In a right angle triangle, one of the sides is one third of the hypotenuse, which is 15 centimeters. Solve the triangle. If this is our triangle, the hypotenuse is 15 centimeters. Let's assume this side is one third of the hypotenuse, and one third of 15 would be 5 centimeters. Let's call the right angle C and the other angles B and A. By solving a triangle, we mean finding all of the angles and all of the sides. There is one side unknown, which is AC. I call it X. To find X, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, the hypotenuse squared is equal to one of the sides is squared plus the other side squared. Um, if we simplify this equation, we see that x squared is 15 squared minus 5 squared. We can simplify this further to get x squared equal to 200 centimeters squared. If we take the root of both sides of this equation, see that x is root 200 or minus root 200. We drop the negative solution because the side of a triangle cannot be a negative number. Therefore, x is root 200, which I can write as root of 2 times 100, which is root 2 times root 100. This is root 2 times 10, because root of 100 is 10, and that is 10 root 2. At this point, there is no need to use the calculator to uh, find this number in the decimal form, because the decimal form is not accurate or precise. Therefore, I'm going to keep the value of x to be 10 root 2. Now, I would try to find the angle A by knowing the sides of the triangle. Um, sine of A is opposite of angle A over hypotenuse. That would be 5 over 15, which is 1 by 3. If we use our calculator, we see that A is sine inverse of 1 third, and that turns out to be approximately 19.47 degrees. Now, you would need to keep as many decimal points as the problem requires. In this particular problem, there was no restriction on the number of significant digits, and I've kept only four significant digits. Now, knowing A, I should be able to find the other angle, because the sum of the angles inside a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, A plus B plus C is 180 degrees, and that means that 19.47 degrees plus B plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. This is a linear equation that I can solve for B, and it gives me B to be equal to 70.53 degrees. Once again, I've kept four significant digits. Therefore, we've been able to find all of the angles and all of the sides of the triangle. I would just write down our results to indicate that the triangle has been solved. The hypotenuse is 15, and one of the sides is 5 centimeters. The other side is 10 root 2 centimeters. The angle facing the hypotenuse is 90 degrees. The angle facing 
the side which is 10 root 2 centimeters is 70.53 degrees and the angle facing the side which is 5 centimeters is 19.47 degrees.